In this mechanics video, there is an 8 kilogram mass connected to a 6 kilogram mass by a light inextensible string passing over a light smooth pulley. The 6 kilogram mass is also connected by a second light inextensible string over a light smooth pulley to a 12 kilogram mass which is initially 1.8 meters above the ground. The horizontal surface is a rough surface where the coefficient of friction mu equals one third. First thing to do is to put all the forces on the diagram which will enable me to then calculate the acceleration of the connected masses, the tension in each string and the time taken for the 12 kilogram mass to hit the ground when the system is released from rest. So for the 8 kilogram mass its weight acting vertically downwards which will be 8g the tension in this left string will be acting vertically upwards which I'm going to denote by t1 now for the 6 kilogram mass its weight will act vertically downwards 6g there will be a normal reaction between the rough surface and this 6 kilogram mass acting vertically upwards which will be the normal reaction I'm going to denote by R. There will be a tension in this part of the string acting horizontally to the left of the same magnitude which will be T1. The 6 kilogram mass will be moving horizontally to the right on the rough surface so the frictional force will be opposing the motion so the frictional force will be acting horizontally to the left and I'm going to denote this by F. There will be a tension in the string acting to the right of magnitude T2. Now for the 12 kilogram mass its weight will act vertically downwards 12G and the tension in the string will be acting vertically upwards of magnitude T2. All the relevant forces on this diagram are now shown. Because these three masses are connected, all their accelerations will be the same. So for part A, first thing I'm going to do is look at the 6 kilogram mass so for the 6 kg mass I'm going to first resolve vertically upwards now it's a double arrow because the 6 kilogram mass is not moving perpendicularly to the rough surface so doing this, R, the normal reaction, equals 6G. Now, the friction of force F is given by mu R. So the friction of force will equal mu, the coefficient of friction, which is one third, times the normal reaction, which is 6G give a frictional force of 2 g newtons. Now resolving horizontally to the right because the 6 kilogram mass is moving to the right we have T2 minus T1 minus F which is 2 g 
So the left hand side of this equation gives the resultant force acting on the 6 kilogram mass to the right. So that resultant force is going to equal MA, so 6A. And I'm going to denote this equation as equation 1. For the 8 kilogram mass, because it is moving upwards, I need to resolve in the direction of motion which is vertically upwards. And that will give T1 minus 8G equals MA 8A. Therefore, T1 equals 8A plus 8G. And I'm going to denote this as equation 2. Now for the 12 kilogram mass, I need to resolve vertically downwards because the 12 kilogram mass is moving downwards, so in that direction there, which will give 12g minus T2. MA 12A therefore T2 equals 12G minus 12A and I'm going to denote this as equation 3 So, using equation 1, this becomes so T2 will now be replaced with 12G minus 12A. Now I need to subtract T1, which is 8A plus 8G, minus 2G equals 6A. So collecting the G's on the left hand side and the A's on the right hand side, this will give 2G equals 26a therefore the exact acceleration of this system or all the three masses will equal g over 13 meters per second squared now from Equation 2 T1 equals 8A, so 8 times G over 13 plus 8G to give an exact tension of 112. over 13 G Newtons or to three significant figures 84.4 from equation 3 T2 equals 
is 12g minus 12 times a which will give an exact tension of 144 over 13 G newtons or 109 newtons to three significant figures. So this is part B here. So now I find the acceleration of the three masses and the tension in the two strings. Now for part C. Since the system is released from rest for the 12 kilogram mass, U, the initial velocity is 0 meters per second. Its acceleration is G over 13. meters per second squared the distance it must travel to hit the ground equals 1.8 meters and the time taken needs to be found so the see that equation that needs to be used Is this equation S equals UT plus a half AT squared? So substituting our values in 1.8 equals. Now, because the initial velocity is zero, UT is zero, so that's going to equal a half. times A, which is G over 13, T squared, so making T the subject, it's T equals the square root of 1.8, times 2 times 13 all over G nine point eight to give an exact time of three root 26 all over seven seconds or as a decimal to three significant figures 2.19 seconds again I hope you have found another of my videos to be both interesting and informative. Thank you again for watching this video.